once I saw this article released about a project that doesn't even have a market cap, I knew that my ears were already perked up and I wanted to get a video out about it. But before we get into everything, none of this is financial advice. I'm not paid by the Staked Stone team in any way, and I am not currently invested in Staked Stone. I did try, I did try, but it was a little difficult to get it because of liquidity reasons. So roll that intro and let's get this video started. <music> So like I said, Stakestone doesn't even have a market cap. The only market cap that they're using right now is their total value locked, which is at $480 million. Now this project was released in November 21st of 2023. So it's been around technically for a year and it did about a 2X in 2024, but nothing too crazy yet. So I would say it's very, 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 very early in its stage. Now going down, you'll notice chain 17, BNB, Arbitrum, Base, Optimism, Lena, Aptos, Mantis, Midas, Scroll, mode sei merlin x meter astar as you can guess this is going to be an omni chain solution you know that i love my omni chain stuff so when i was going through this digging process i said okay well this is very interesting that we have this company and this project that has 17 chains and ecosystems and then i noticed in the article it said that the investment round 22 million which is a lot of fucking money that just cleared about two days ago well at least when the press release came out about it so maybe this happened last week but it was led by Polychain Capital, which is pretty much tied in with Polygon. And then also you have Binance and OKX getting into it. So right off the bat, I was thinking, okay, well, that would mean that there's some sort of cross chain, maybe an Omni chain. But if you're seeing them get into it, especially as a group like this, more than likely they're going to be sharing that wealth. Then you go down and realize that it wasn't just those two, but it was also Nomad, Hashkey, Hashkey Cloud, Amber, Consumer, Bankless Ventures, Dow5. There's so many fucking people that have money in this project. It's insane. So that definitely was another reason that I'm like, okay, I'll probably will have to do a video on this. Now getting into Stakestone and what it actually does and what it is, it offers liquid ETH and Bitcoin solutions. And I did have to go and dig into this a little bit to figure out exactly what that did mean. What this means is that you don't have to choose between staking rewards or liquidity pools, which is how it is right now if you're just using standard Ethereum. Because it's liquid, it's technically a synthetic asset. And because it's synthetic, it allows you to be able to take advantage of both at the exact same time. Now take that concept and you're able to do the same thing with Bitcoin. So now you're able to get into Bitcoin and other layer two solutions on Bitcoin and be able to use and get staking rewards through liquid Bitcoin which obviously is next level. And when you're looking at this from an omni-chain perspective and the fact that everyone can get involved in it, it really does make sense why this has $450 million secured. And there's about 17 different ecosystems and probably 10 different institutions that are gonna be throwing money at this project. Now, obviously, if you do wanna jump into Stakestone more and learn more about it, go through the full documentation. You'll see that on developers. And then you can go through here and it'll walk you through basically everything that goes into it. This is just more of a short snippet and intro into the actual project. But all in all, personally, I am very, very bullish on this. And ironically enough, it is pretty difficult to get this project. I tried to get it on Uniswap, Sushi. I kind of tried it again because it was a couple days ago, even Pancake Swap. There was such little liquidity, which means that everyone is buying it up. That that's also another really bullish sign. So I'm probably going to be trying again tonight, maybe tomorrow, sometime this week, to see if I can get a, at least a little bit of stake stone before things start to really pop off or at least find the best way to be able to get it so that I can practice and take advantage of the yielding and staking for synthetic ETH or through stone, because there is a way that you can stake your ETH and then earn stone as the reward. And then for anyone that does want to learn how to trade crypto, I would highly suggest going and checking out the Epic Trading Floor. You can grab a three-day trial, and if you're brand new and you don't know anything about trading, the first thing I would do is grab that trial, then immediately jump into the courses and start going through the coursework. And then from there, you can go through the crypto trading floor and that's where I'll keep everyone up to date on this project and all the other projects that we're watching through the rest of this bull run as Bitcoin progresses and potentially gets up to 150, maybe even theoretically 200,000. We'll see. But I hope everyone has an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, depending on wherever you're tuning in in the world. And I will see you on the next one.